What's going on, Geekdom? This is Chipmunk doing another reaction. Uh, today is Animation Monday. <laughs> today is Animation Monday. Sorry about that. And uh, <laughs> we are reacting to a top 10. This is the top 10 new, new harem anime from uh, Animation Channel. And uh, yeah. Uh, the harem animes are pretty interesting to me. Uh, I know it has its own like tropes and stuff like that, but uh, as far as like all the different harems and stuff like that, but it's been a, a, a few that were new that I actually did enjoy, and it's just because they try to bring in some type of new element to the harem anime. Uh, some I don't think really much bring anything new, but there has been uh, a few that I've liked, like Peter Grill, stuff like that. Uh, as far as hair animes that I actually enjoy. Just because I found a whole bunch of stuff funny and just how they went about the story and stuff like that. Just because they tried to do something that was uh, different than what I've seen. Uh, it probably is not different from somebody else's anime that they made. But I, if I haven't seen it, then hey, it's, it's new to me. Uh, <laughs> it's different to me. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check this out and see exactly... What uh, anime had put for the top ten new harem anime? What can be better than building a harem of hot, sexy, thick, busty girls? Nothing is better. In today's list, we will talk about the top 10 newest harem anime that blessed us this year. So before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and press on that bell icon and send us all to be notified about our latest videos. I like his intro. Coming in at number 10, we have Peter Grill in The Philosopher's Time. Yay! Oh, Peter. That's why Sucks you don't number 10, But it's one that I did enjoy. The behind them. Peter Grill, after winning in the Colosseum, became the strongest man ever. Such a title came with a hefty price. The price being that he is being sought out by women of all races for his, uh, um, <laughs> uh, potent sperm and genes in order to receive his seed and give birth to a powerful bloodline of warriors. And that's about it. Really, no joke. The show has almost no plot, no character development whatsoever, and solely focuses on the reproductive parts and about how these girls will coerce him to do uh, the dirty duty with them. Coming in at number nine, we have Val Love. It may not have a, sorry to a have plot. To be a of bad news. But someone has to do it. But right. it's just the thing is where he's, he's supposed to be marrying this chick. And, and he just gets himself into these situations that he has to try to get himself However, out that I enjoy. Makes, you have nine I think it's pretty funny. That are sexy as hell. Excluding the lolly one, of course. She is only there to protect and give tasty food. The girls are dull and, in a sense, bland. There is no development at all, and the series is more of a pseudo hentai than an actual anime. If you read the manga or watched any of the scenes from the anime, you will agree with me. When it comes to bad anime series, this anime isn't the worst. Sometimes it is fine to just forget about the plot and just watch some hot girls in armor fighting beasts. And that's perfectly okay. We all like to take a time out every once in a while. Coming out at number 8, we have Osamake Romcom, where the childhood friends won't lose. Welcome to another week and another totally obvious title of an anime. This series revolves literally around its title. It is just that the characters are as dumb-witted as they come, repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again, not mm. learning from them, and throwing all the character development elements out of the window. All the main character did was tell a girl hi, like three or four times. After being rejected, he decides to take revenge with the help of his childhood friend. Nothing more to it. Give it a go. See how you like it. Coming in at number Ooh. seven, we have the hidden dungeon only I can enter. Well, if you are a fan of Demanchi anime, then this series is definitely your cup of tea. In a world where nobility decides the worth of a person being born into a hierarchy is all that really matters. With all the privileges that it brings, who can say no? Naru is one of the unfortunate ones being born a pseudo-noble due to the poor circumstances of his family. Naru has one trump card up his sleeve, though. His great sage ability giving him answers to anything he seeks. 
and the price of a killer headache. This power of his leads him to a hidden dungeon, meaning Olivia's servant, the best adventurer to ever live. Granted her skills, he learns how to utilize them and what the cost to do so is. What is it, you may ask? It's LP. When it reaches zero, he dies. And the way to replenish it is what every guy dreams of. All he has to do is embrace his inner sin and indulge in the pleasures of the flesh. Or he thinks he loves. Even having a sense of achievement can help skyrocket his LP. With this being a hair anime though, I guess we all know by now where this is heading. Lots of hugs, kisses, bobas being grabbed, and panties flashing are waiting for you within this anime. Mm -hmm. So give it a chance and check it out. It's hilarious and at the same time composed with a nice plot, I might add. It's a lot of boobas. Coming in at number six, we have Kawaii Kareba, Hentai Demosuki Ni Nate Kuramasu Aka. Huh? <gasps> That's a mouthful. Yeah. This anime series proves that looks can be deceiving. When Kaiki Kiryu receives an anonymous love letter with white panties attached to it, he embarks on a journey to discover who the panties belong to. Keiki begins to speculate and theorize which one of the girls in his school it could be. Some of the candidates include his underclassman Yuika, his classmate Mao, and his senior Sayuki. While he is on his journey to uncover this mystery girl, or also known as Cinderella, he begins to uncover the dark secrets of the girls around him and- Oh, I did watch this. I watched this. Freaky they can be. Each it was that was a crazy anime. I did watch this. Finishes. This will give you one hell of a sexy show to enjoy. I was and like, the title didn't seem familiar, but Doctor. I did watch that anime. Your immediate impression may be that this is a shameless ripoff of Monster Musume 2017. Because I remember I who, blame you for whose panties those were. There's a blonde, lusty <laughs> centaur, bombshell <laughs> lamia, femme fatal, My and spider girl, adorable cyclops, and a lucky, unlucky teenage boy at the center of it all, working as a full-time doctor. But there are several differences that set Monster Doctor apart from its predecessors and make it stand out on its own as an entry to the Monster Girl genre. For one, Monster Doctor is explicitly about, you guessed it, a traveling doctor who specializes in monster health conditions. The episodes are dedicated to a medical case concerning a unique species that he cures yeah, through lot of, inventive lot of, means. There is almost always... It, <laughs> your bubbles, I was like, I, I can already tell. Words. When it comes to like monster girls, it's always something it seems. That spiraled into off. random directions because the focus was solely on fan service. But it's supposed to be and probably the most significant hey, one is that monster it's supposed to be pure is nature. Nudity and does not compare doesn't to seem the that way. <laughs> of its ancestor. You are more inclined to be invested in the health dilemmas of the monster girls. This harem anime isn't the best to say the least, but the doctor theme healing beautiful busty beast girls have its own appeal and will have audience clamoring to watch every episode to see these girls, each for their own lewd reasons. And remember guys, no kink shaming. Coming in at number four, we have nope. combatants will be dispatched. Whatever you like, you this like. This anime is from the creator of Konosuba, so it has to be good, right? The main character here is known to us only by his alias combatant number six. Being a part of an evil organization that wants to take over the world, combatant number six is sent off to a parallel universe with a cute lolly android Alice in tow. The two start off on a wrong note and are at each other's throats. Later, they learn to cooperate together to complete their intel gather missions of the world they are in. A harem can't be one without the Sundere type girl though, right? And the busty snow is that girl. An ironic name, if you mm -hmm. ask me, since she wields a flame sword as her weapon of choice. Enter the rest of the Suicide Squad, a team of five <laughs> with number six leading them behind enemy lines and going on perilous missions that others definitely wouldn't, including the cute Chimera Lolly with a dream to become the strongest by eating the flesh of every monster, and the lovely, timid, yet sometimes scary follower of the Xenolith Grim with her sexy black string panties. Number six group is a troublesome bunch to say the least, and a group of misfits oh under a leader like him, a lot of adventures will be waiting for them. The humor is nice in the story too, especially gotta, the tension between the six of those when she tries to kill him on one of the missions. The character interactions overall are hilarious, and somewhat wholesome in the I was story. like, what is the purpose of the anime, that fit? Like, I don't understand. Missing such a series. Coming in at number three. You're fighting, what's the purpose of the fit? Boku Ben. In this series, Nariyuki Yuiga needs to teach a group of girls that are considered geniuses in some fields and dense in others. However, ironic as it may seem, these geniuses want to study a career where their abilities are useless. This setting leads to a series of silly events where they flesh out the uniqueness of every character 
their feelings, and of course, the stupid cliché jokes. Sadly, after some episodes, the series can give the impression that something is missing, and perhaps you could end up dropping it because it feels tedious or lacks romance and the storytelling is average. Nonetheless, this first season culminating of 13 episodes only works as an introduction that shows the main characters and paves the path for the future seasons, where I do hope to see relevant plot twists, romance, and new jokes. Coming in at number two, how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. Kazuya Soma, after the death of his grandfather and taking his final words to heart, live, get married, and protect your family, gets summoned into a world of magic and demons by the king himself. Nonetheless, the king, realizing his incompetence to protect the kingdom, decides to abdicate his throne to Soma in hopes that he can succeed where the king failed and usher a new age of prosperity in the kingdom. One hand can't clap on its own, however. That's why Soma starts to look for capable individuals that can benefit the kingdom and help him achieve his vision for it. Of course, since this is a harem, the majority of his personnel are made up of strong, capable, hot, sexy women all wanting to help him as much as they can to reach a better tomorrow! From the sexy dark elf Aisha to the dazzling strong Stris Juna Doma, each possessing her own I like how they have, like, technology. The they all wish nothing but to protect It's, like, up to date with... This anime very, like, more on the plot than on the harem anime cliches. Uh, medieval and type style and everything else. Storyline with unneeded uh, mood scenes that benefit nothing to the plot. Instead, they added. It's like where would you where would you get this earpiece to enforce the story even more and attract the audience? You too. have no By other God, electronics to do one, any other please, thing. Please give it a try. And number one goes to Kanojo Mo Kanojo. I mean. I have heard of an open-minded relations and girls, but not as much as this one. Naoya, the lucky bastard, doesn't only get to score with his childhood friend Saki, but also gets to double-time her with a beautiful Saki. Nagisa. This is Popular one hell of a weird relationship to be in if and, you uh, some animes. Lucky? Well, hell yeah. Weird? Even more so. This anime so far gives the vibes of how many he can date at the same time at the end of the anime. Who knows, maybe we will get lucky enough to watch them in an orgy month. That probably won't happen. Wasn't a bad list. Uh, we'll have to check out some of these um, <laughs> just to see exactly how they are. Because usually, even the ones that people don't typically like, uh, I can get into and be interested in. So it just it just depends. Uh, not everyone's tastes are the same. Uh, when it comes to anime, uh, especially in the genres that we like, whether it's, it's like a harem anime, uh, our tastes will always differ from everyone else's. We can't really say what is the best or what is, it's what fits for you. So, there's some animes that I'll check out just because, um, you know, some people say they don't have plot, stuff like that. You might find something interesting about the anime. There's a couple animes that I, I like. But no one else typically likes. <laughs> and I always find something interesting about some of those. But some of the popular animes that some people really do love. Well, a lot of people do love. I don't typically like. Just because it just doesn't fit my, my interest and intrigue. So, yeah. Uh, so, hey, check out as many of these animes as you can. Check out as many animes as you can. Because you never know. You never know what you would like. What uh, might interest you, even though a lot of people say they don't like it, just check it out. That's the that's the meaning to me for all these. Just check these out and just see how they are. Uh, like it's a few of these I'm put on my list. If I end up catching some, like some the one of the ones I didn't have on my list, but I did end up watching, and I didn't recognize it just because I didn't recognize the name that uh, he had for it. <laughs> And I was like, oh yeah, that was an interesting anime. Uh, crazy. I won't spoil that ending. But the one with the long title. Uh, that he said was a mouthful. Uh, I, I did end up watching that one. And it was it was an interesting anime. It's not something that I, I would simply go back to. Uh, but it was, for a first watch, it was, it was crazy. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, please put a like on the video. If you like to subscribe and see some more of my content, please do. Thank you all so much for jumping on and giving me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace and geekdom.